Good day, everyone. How are you? Very good, ma'am. Very good, ma'am. Okay, nice to hear that. Is my audio and video clear and audible on your end? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. So, for today's class, I will share with you an article, and its title is Dr. Bob. So, now, after hearing the title, um, what questions do you have in mind? What are you curious about, or what do you expect to find out in the text? Ms. Tejada. Um, my question, ma'am, is why is he called Dr. Bags? Okay, it is the first question that have crossed your mind. Thank you, Ms. Tejada. What about you, uh, Mr. Sasso? As for my question, ma'am, I would like to ask, what is his favorite bag? Okay, thank you, Mr. Santos. So, remember the question you have in mind, and we will figure out the answers after reading the article. So, make sure to listen very well, because I'll be asking a few more questions after. Now, Ms. Tejada, can you read the article? Okay, ma'am. Dr. Box, most people don't like Box, but Dr. Mark Moppet loves them. In fact, his name is Dr. Box. He's a photographer and an entomologist. An entomologist studies Box. Dr. Moppet's favorite bag is the ant. He goes all over the world to study ants. He watches them as they eat, work, rest, sleep, and fight. He takes photographs of the ants. He lies on the ground with his camera and waits for the right moment. The ants and other bugs often bite him, but that doesn't stop Dr. Bugs. He has an interesting and unusual job, and he loves it. Okay, thank you, Ms. Tejada. Now, let's answer the questions you formed earlier. Ms. Tejada, why is he called Dr. Bugs? He called Dr. Bugs because he loves bugs. Correct. Most people don't like bugs, but Dr. Mark Moffat loves them. Now, to answer Lester's question, Lester, what is his favorite bug? His favorite bug, ma'am, is ant. Right. Dr. Moffat's favorite bug is the ant. So, my next question is, is he an entomologist? Lester? Yes, ma'am. He is an entomologist. Correct. Thank you. Ms. Tejada, what does an entomologist study? Um, an entomologist, ma'am, studies bugs. Right. Thank you. It is an interesting and unusual job. Now, for the last question, does he go all over the world to study ants? Lester? Yes, ma'am. He goes all over the world to study ants. Okay. Dr. Bugs is truly passionate about studying ants. You see, there are a lot of questions which we get to answer when we read the article. So you have formed your own questions, and I asked a few more. But how do we really form a simple question? So here are the questions asked and the answers that we have figured out earlier. As you can see, some of the words are highlighted. Um, what part of speech are those words with pink highlights, Ms. Tejada? Um, verb, ma'am. Correct. What about the words with green highlights, Mr. Santos? Noun and pronoun, ma'am. Right, so basically it is the subject. Now, what have you noticed in terms of the pattern in the first question and to its answer, Ms. Tejada? Um, in a statement, ma'am, which is the answer, subject comes before the verb, while in a question, the verb moves to the start of the sentence. Good observation, Ms. Tejada. You see, to form questions in the present simple, um, using an auxiliary verb like 
is we reverse the order of the subject and the verb. Uh, Lester, what about in the second question? The second question, ma'am, starts with does and uh, the subject are not reversed. And yeah, yeah, the subject and verb are not reversed, ma'am. Correct. For questions with verbs, uh, with other verbs, we start the question with do or does. We don't swap the subject and the main verb. Do you think it's correct to reverse the order of the subject and the verb in this question? Does go he all over the world to study ants? Um, it doesn't sound correct, right? So remember to add do to questions with I, you, we, and they. On the other hand, add does to questions with he, she, and it. Got it, everyone? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, thank you. What else did you notice um, from the second question and to its answer, Ms. Tejada? Okay, ma'am. The main verb goes in its base form when asking a question while in a statement, it doesn't. Okay, correct. The main verb goes in its base form. The verb never takes an S or ES when you ask a question. But in a statement, it does. Thank you, Ms. Tejada. What about in the last question, Lester? What did you notice? The question, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. The question, what is added at the beginning of this, and ma'am, the question. Okay, good. Question words can be used like what, when, who, where, and why before, do, or does to form open questions. You can also see that the subject and the verb here are not reversed. So, is it clear to everyone? Do you have questions? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. No questions. Okay. So basically, that is all that you need to remember to form present simple question first. Uh, since you have said that it is all clear to you and you have no question, um, then try to form one question on your own using the article again. Uh, I'll give you two minutes and then I will call you to ask your question to ask your question that you have formed and then the other one will answer it. So, got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, your time starts now.
Okay, ready? Are you guys ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Miss Tejada, you go first. Okay, ma'am. So, my question is, does he take photographs of the ants? Does he take photographs of the ants? Okay, good, Miss Tejada. Lester, yes. try to answer it. Yes, he takes photographs of the ants. He takes photographs of the ants. Okay, Lester, go ahead with your question. My question is, does he watch the ants as they eat, work, rest, sleep, and fight? Good one. Uh, good one, Lester. Uh, Mr. Hada, answer it. Yes, he watches them. So, great. Both of you did well in forming a present simple question. I see that you understand what we have discussed. You remember to start the question with does because it is incorrect to reverse the order of the subject and the verb to your question. Um, and of course, the verb say in its base form. So before we formally end, before we formally end, thank you for listening and actively participating, participating in today's class. Goodbye, class. Bye, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.